take a cut on the sales. I'm telling you, the wind is blowing in our favor for once. Hatters are planning to capitalize on all of this. Can't say I blame them. That's not where I wanted it to land. Just check inside. Let's show this one some of the new Dunwall hospitality. How's this for Dunwall hospitality? Your buddy's lucky. I got to choke him out. I don't know why. I don't feel like the Hatters deserve to die necessarily. I mean, if they attack me, they're just going to be erased. As indiscriminately as I would one of the traitors. But, uh, I mean, the Hatters have been around. They're criminals, sure. They need to be cleaned off the streets. But I think prison is more suitable for those guys. Traitors die. But Hatters, they're just criminals, you know. We've been doing okay for the most part against them. And we, I mean Emily and Corvo and Dunwall in general. From everything I've heard, since Emily took the throne... Uh, crime has been on the decline. It's, yeah, it's the idea I'm getting, you know. What's all this? Where am I? Southern Star Chart. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be a map of some variety. Don't really need the pistol. I could really use. I could really use my crossbow back. And apparently I'm going to need to meet some sort of engineer philosopher to get access to that kind of stuff again. And that has a bright white outline making me feel like it's something I can interact with, but it's not. It looks like something that you highlight, that you've already highlighted, you know? See the, see the way that highlights with a white outline whenever you put your mouse over it? Just like that. It looks like that's something you already have your mouse over. <laughs> okay, anyway. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on moving. Mmm, a mallet. Oh, can't use it. <laughs> Just to get more brutal in my murders? They're not murders, they're killings. There's a difference. Uh... Traitors and guards. Traitors and guards. I can hop down there and swim. And if I did, I could swim right underneath them. Those don't want to be ledge grabbed. Now, water's pretty dangerous from what I've seen in the previous Dishonored game. There's like fish that'll try and bite you and stuff. Obviously, we're gonna check this direction first. Bone charms and the like. Of course, I don't really have to worry about those right now. But just in case, there might have been something out there. Alright, well... Let's get my swim on. I kind of want to see if they have anything to say, see if I can overhear them. Fish, 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 fish. Breath meter is still pretty full. Let me swim around the front of the boat. Sorry, ship. I'm here to meet a ship captain. You can just hop up here? Okay, yeah, that's good. And then from there, just...
Something's going on at Dunwall Tower all across this cursed city. Where are you, Corvo Atano? Ahoy there. Lord Atano, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warmed over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who seized the throne. They have Emily, and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away, recover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunwall. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. Should we go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Let's start setting up our takeover. Our, our re-takeover. Let's start setting up what we need to do to win this. Let's go. Plus, I want to hear everything that you have to tell me about whatever it is you have to tell me. Civilians killed zero. Bam. Hostiles killed 26. Total killed 26. Uh, I didn't get merciful. <laughs> Stealth alarms rung zero. Nice. Bodies detected 12. Detections 19. I definitely didn't get ghostly. And on my lethal and a... Oh, sorry. There's, there's a... There are two axes there. One is lethal to non-lethal, and the other is stealth to assault. And I am far bottom left on that one. Lethal and assault. I love it. That's exactly what I was going for. And that graph right there, that chart, is a is a visual representation that I have done exactly as I intended to do. <laughs> Woo! Chapter 2. A strange visit. Something feels off. Find out what is going on. A strange visit. Oh, please be the outsider. Something's not right, but it seems familiar somehow. Excellent! It's a trip to the void. The outsider's been watching. For the past 15 years, things may have been boring to him, but now, now something's happened. And now he's ready to, he's ready to kind of fool her, he's ready to pull some of the strings. Yes, yes. Give me, give me the tools to make this entertaining for you, outsider, and I will make this entertaining for you, outsider. Great, the door's blocked. Oh, good. I remember this endless cold. The void is, uh... This looks a lot more what it should look like, I feel. This is... Something else. It's the void, sure, but I mean, this is just something else. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? You've lost another Empress. I gave you my mark for a reason. I wanted to know what happens when you take an honorable man's life away. When you push his face down in the mud. What will he do, given the chance? And what a sight it was. You gave yourself over to blood and terror. Gave it everything you had. Then you spent 15 years making sure it wouldn't happen again. But now it has. And this time, you know where it leads. Will you do it all again? Where is that good man now?
Oh, wow, you can reject the offer and go no powers mode? All right, that's extremely cool, okay, because that that gives you... That gives those really hardcore stealth players full authority to play the game exactly the way that they want to play. Sure, you could go no powers in Dishonored 1, but there were powers all over the place. I mean, you, you collect them, you get the bone charms, um, you level up your powers and things like that. Uh... I forget how you I forget how you actually obtain powers in Dishonor. I know Bone Charms will do things like um, give you passive abilities, but there was something else that you collected to get you some some other currency you collected to buy powers. I think it was something bigger than Bone Charms. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean those things were all over the game, so you couldn't really play. I mean, you could play without powers, but because all the, it just it just felt out of place. It felt like you were intentionally pulling back on the reins for yourself. But if you reject the outsider's mark this time, then you're not really pulling back on any reins. There's just no reins there to begin with. That's pretty cool. All right, but obviously I'll be accepting the outsider's mark. He's asking me where this good man is, the good man from the past 15 years. That's the man who has... Who has okay, apparently it's canon in this story that Corvo uh, went high chaos mode in the previous game. That seems to be canon because the outsider here is talking about like you went, you gave into blood and vengeance and things like that. So apparently Corvo went high chaos previously and then once he got Emily back, he felt uh, he felt no more need for vengeance and then things calmed down and then they worked together to help revitalize Dunwall for as much as, much as they have over the past 15 years. But, full on expecting that Corvo's gonna do exactly what he did last time, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think he wants to see. He wants to see that now that Corvo has spent 15 years rebuilding this, he wants to see if Corvo will once again give in to that blood and vengeance that he did the first time, or if there is a different path Corvo can take this time. But no, not my Corvo. My Corvo is going to take the same path, because my Corvo still has that vengeance inside of him. There is that vengeance that lurks deep within, and it's silent. It can be satisfied. It can be quelled. It never needs to emerge. There is no need for it. Corvo does not need to unleash it, and it itself does not need to be unleashed. It's just there to be used if the need arises, and the need has arisen. A traitorous plot has just struck Dunwall in the heart of Dunwall Tower. And yes, as the outsider said, Corvo has lost another empress. What were these people expecting? They saw what happened when Corvo lost his first empress, and now they left him alone in a room? After taking another empress from him, rather than executing him outright, right there, what was Delilah thinking? What what could these conspirators be thinking at this point? Why 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 what what outcome could they possibly think could happen? This is the only possible path for for my Corvo. That's it. This is the, this is all that could possibly happen is another meeting with the outsider, more powers, and then that trail of blood and vengeance until once again we have obtained peace. Through my blade! I felt this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. <laughs> I never thought I'd be here again. Blink! Press right click to move forward rapidly. Blink allows you to move very fast without being seen, making it useful for stealth since you can blink from one hiding spot to another, or even rooftop to rooftop if you combine the power with jump. Blink can't, or with a jump? It's just with jump, okay. Blink can effectively be chained together with assassination or choke if used to approach unaware enemies. You can also blink through glass, breaking it, or blink upward for limited distances. Note that the cursor changes when aimed at a climbable surface or ledge. Yes, it changes to the arrow. The mana cost for using the power is low, so the recharging portion of the mana bar will allow you to blink even when you have no elixirs. Oh, cool! <clears throat> Upgrading this power changes some of its basic functionality. Blink Assault. Throw enemies into the ground by attacking just as blink ends. Ooh, that sounds cool. Greater Blink. Extend the range of blink and redirect blink. Time stops if you aren't moving while aiming blink. Ah, Dowd's version. Dowd was older at the time, and now Corvo is older, more experienced, more in tune with the powers of the Void, perhaps, the more he uses it. So Dowd just had redirective blink 
probably because he went through the same things Corvo did to get there. Not not the same life experiences or Empress losing and stuff like that, but you know, in his in his void experience. All right then. There's that arrow. Ooh, it's different this time. It used to linger along the edge. Okay, I'm glad I took I'm glad I took a second here to check that out. Fun. Feels as good as I remember. Of course it does. Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. Emily. Ichabod Boyle. Evidence of the Crown Killer. I've been here before. Oh, the heart. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Jessamine, if all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand and I will guide you when I can. Tutorial the heart. Use the heart to locate runes and bone charms. Okay, makes sense. New objective, find the rune. The heart. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes. The heart will begin to beat and glow when you are facing a bone charm or rune and will beat faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press right click at particular locations or while looking at a person. Exactly the same as before. There are no stars in the sky here. There is no sky. Okay, blink has to be two. I guess we'll make the heart one. Oh wait, no. two. Where's the heart? I kind of want the. I kind of want one to be the crossbow, though. We'll see. No one should be here, Jessamine. But this place feels strangely familiar and right. Especially to get what I need to get. Which is this this gift from you and powers from the outsider. In thousands of years, few have seen this place. Two, or Two. Has Emily seen this place? There's a strange power in this place. There is still peace to be had, and I think we can find it together. The one who took my life walks the world still, but he has withdrawn. I spared him. And I'm not sure I could even begin to explain to you why. Now you are a part of a greater force that's going to help save your daughter and the people of Dunwall. 
If only they knew. If only the people of Dunwall knew, Jessamine. That Empress Jessamine Colvin was still watching over them. Still fighting for them. But they don't. But fight we must. How vividly, how vividly, I wonder, do you remember that day? I don't know whether I should hope that you remember it very vividly or not at all. I should hope that you would remember me very clearly. But I wouldn't want you to relive that day, your last day, over and over, simply for the sake of remembering me. But in the end, whether you remember it vividly or not is neither of our choice, I suppose. Yes, while you and I can serve as a greater whole together in this capacity, I, Lord Protector and a vengeful assassin, and you, the last traces of Empress Jessamine Colvin, who can reach over the great expanse to communicate and work together with me, Emily is the greater whole between us, just simply as merit, as her own merit, as she is. There are great things in store for her yet. Made of muscle and sinew, but metal and glass as well, and other things. <laughs> yes, I don't pretend to know how any of this works. But I know that together we can use it to help save Emily and Dunwall. Who is Delilah really? Jessamine's sister? Bearing the outsider's mark. And you? Are you the crown killer back there? Shady? Watching over Delilah's shoulder? like two runes. Delilah slid a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, arts and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. I had no doubts about that. So. First rune. Just when you think you've got it all figured out. Just as you're starting to relax. You looked up and there are wolves at the gate. Wolves with red muzzles. Hungry for your insides. Everything has turned to shit. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18. Boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn and I had been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. And I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. In the 36 years since, I've buried countless enemies. Most deserved what they got, but I wonder if that even matters. I've stopped dozens of assassins, but the one who got through eats at my dreams. 
Who'd have thought I'd come home to Karnaka, the most wanted man in the Empire, following the trail of a monstrous killer? Who'd have thought I'd be on the run again, only to wade through another river of blood? Find the rune. Use the heart to locate the rune. Okay. Objective updated. Dreadful whale. Meet with Megan Foster. Of course. Goodbye, Karnaka. A musician's farewell. Sir Conan Guitar. Travel log. Oh, I can write in it. Interesting. Tutorial bone charms. Bone charms provide minor supernatural benefits. Passive abilities. Runes and acquiring powers. Runes can be used to acquire supernatural powers. Open the journal and go to the powers tab to exchange runes for powers. Can do. Bone charms. Bone charms provide minor supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit, or use the heart to detect them from further away. By default, you can activate up to five bone charms at once in the bone charm section of the tutorial. Or the journal. Ha! Ah, the tutorial. Ah, uh, so there is a powers section. I have two runes. Okay, that's what I thought there were two on that little table there. Uh, I can get dark vision, see better in darkness, observe living beings through walls. Strategic tips. A pulse occurring at regular intervals will show you the direction, fi uh, the directional facing and view cones of your enemies, and even enables you to see them through walls, giving you vital situational awareness for a stealthy ambush or for sneaking through the area. Also provides visual representation of the sounds you make, further aiding in stealth and helping determine enemy awareness, or intentionally making sounds so that you can distract them. Don't need a bottle for that. You can use your feet and then blink away. You can just kick some things around, and they'll be like, what's that? You blink away and appear behind them. So there is that option. Okay, so there are a lot of these powers that I can take a look at here, but I'm a little bit worried for uh, recording space. So I'm going to have to bring this session to a close here before I get to look at all these. I'll get this edited up, and then I'll probably play another session sometime soon. Hope you folks enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and look at those powers at the start of the next video. So if you're looking forward to that, well, then I suppose look forward to that. And uh should be out tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm trying to get these out every day. Let me go ahead and do this. Yeah, I'm trying to get these out every day uh, around 7.30 a.m., but uh, until I get into the swing of things, I might miss a day or a, a video might come out late. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try not to miss any days. I might, but I'm going to try not to miss any days. I think uh, I, if I if it looks like I can't hit the 7.30 in the morning mark, I think uh, I'll just upload it later that day and then try and hit the 7.30 mark the next day. That's basically what I'm trying to get at right here. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm going to try to do, but if you if you see me miss one day, maybe two, it probably just means that uh, what I'm doing is I'm building up videos to get in the pipeline, because right now I don't have any. I need to get some videos to get built up in the pipeline the way I did with another Metroid 2 remake, where I had like several videos uh, ready to be published already on YouTube before... Uh, or, or while I was recording like future sessions and things like that. It made things a lot easier once I got there, but getting there uh, can sometimes be a bit of a there can, a bit of a ramp up period there, so it can kind of be a little bit difficult sometimes, especially with everything else that uh, I've got going on right now. I got a lot of projects that I'm working on. Okay, anyway, that will do it for this particular video. I hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.